Hi, James. Oh, hi, Kate. I have been trying to work up the nerve to do this, but I really like you and I want to date you. I mean, I know you have a girlfriend and all, but I but I can treat you better so much better than she could ever. Sorry, I'm just not really interested, and Emma treats me very good. I could be your girlfriend. Uh, no, I don't really want to date you, sorry. Oh. James, Emma is the worst girlfriend ever. I know she looks like a badass on the outside, but on the inside she is a weak p- I'm gonna stop you right there. I love bursting your bubble, Kate, but the last time you had a boyfriend, you were caught sitting with that ugly fat Kate Brian by the fireplace, which would explain why you rejected him. You know that's not the case. Julie, just do whatever you want. I'll be waiting outside. You really think you're the better girlfriend? You can't even throw a punch at someone. That has nothing to do with being in a relationship, but if you want to play that game, let's go. Emma you really have to relax, you didn't have to get into a fight with her. Sorry oh and by the way, my parents divorced and my stepmom and stepsister are very mean to me, so let's just go to the pool so I can stop worrying about it. Young lady why are you late? Didn't I tell you to come home right after you leave school? Listen here you stupid stepmom. I was hanging out with my boyfriend James, and keep in mind, I am going to come home whenever I feel like it. You never told me you had a boyfriend, and as your punishment for not telling me, you must break up with him tomorrow. But why? I love him. Um, well, my daughter got cheated on and I wouldn't want that for you. Oh shut the f*** up. You are just jealous that your daughter has not, and will not have a successful relationship, and I am not breaking up with James, and that is final. Fine you little rat, don't forget to mop the bathroom floor, I just showered, and don't forget to make our beds, vacuum the floor, mow the lawn, go buy batteries for the TV remote, do my laundry, and wash the dishes, and organize my jewelry. Fine, I guess I have no choice. So you said you wanted to talk to me? Actually I don't know if I want to. Oh come on man, you are my best friend, you can tell me anything. Fine, it's Emma, she is kind of becoming too clingy, she has been talking to me and wanting to hang out with me a lot more than usual. Maybe she is going through a difficult time and she needs someone to support her. Oh she is getting plenty of support, her family bought like 30 packs of wine and beer. I meant having a nice long chat with her, but first. How about we have some bro time, get some time away from stupid girls. Yeah, dumb girls. Emma what the hell are you doing here and how did you know where I was? I was checking your location on Snapchat. I'm on ghost mode Emma. Wait, no you better not have done what I think you've done. I might have kind of turned show my location on your phone while you were in the bathroom. God damn it Emma this is the exact reason I wanted to get some time out. So kid, 
You said that your girlfriend has really been a bit too controlling. You said that she followed your phone location up to the mountains. Well, yes, I was getting really tired of her following me around. I just felt like I needed a break. When me and my friend got down from the slope, she was standing there and she was upset I didn't tell her where I was going, and I got really mad and I just walked back home. Young man, why would you feel this way towards your girlfriend? I understand that you wanted a break, but are there any other instances when you thought she was being too needy? Well I remember that she was waiting outside of my house for two hours, she followed me to the water park. And there are a lot of other examples. I remember going through the exact same thing when I was in high school. Me and her just couldn't make it work. Okay, and before we leave, let's pray to the friends of our wives and girlfriends and plea for forgiveness because we were gossiping about them. Dear the friends of our wives and girlfriends, it is us again. We are sorry for gossiping about our wives and girlfriends and ask for your forgiveness. In Lady Gaga's name we pray, Amen. Amen. Oh hello. Hello. You go to Gainesville Elementary right? Yes I do. I've heard you have a girlfriend. I didn't mean to eavesdrop but I heard that you weren't too happy the way she was acting. Oh that's alright. And yes, she is getting really annoying. I can totally relate to that. I broke up with my boyfriend three months ago for the exact same reason. You seem really nice. Do you want to hang out at the country club tonight? Sure. That sounds like fun. <music> Hey Kendra, sorry I'm late. Oh, it's fine James, this is a great party isn't it? Oh, I gotta get out of here. Sorry Kendra, I'll talk soon. Paul, oh my god, I was just at the country club with another girl, and Emma almost saw me, oh my god I ran as fast as Sonic to get out of there. Bro it was insane. Wait you were with another girl? It's not simple but yes, please don't tell her. Don't worry I won't. Thank you. I don't want her to find out because I don't want her to find out like this. This is so nice. I know. This is really peaceful for the two of us to be together alone without anyone. Hey, I've heard on the TV people talking about pre-recording something. Well when the hell else are you gonna record it? Afterwards? Ha 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 ha. You are so funny. Why does everyone use this stupid prefix pre? It just doesn't make sense. Like preheated. Why the hell would you call something preheated if it was already heated in the first place? Please excuse me for a moment. Okay, I'll be waiting here. What is it Paul? I'm on a date with Kendra. Dude, you have to make it look like you are just friends with her. Emma is walking in right now. She is grabbing a soda, and she might see you. What's that Paul? The service is really bad. Oh no, James you have to make it look like you and Kendra are just friends because Emma is about to walk into the restaurant. I will call you afterwards Paul. The internet connection here is really bad. James, no. You are going to get caught. Emma is about to walk in. Sorry about that. That's alright. It happens to all of us. Like when you burp. Uh, ha ha ha. Man I love you. Oh, you love her James? Oh here we go. Seriously, after all of the things we've been together, you really do this to me. Oh don't exaggerate. I'm not. Oh yeah right. Why would you go behind my back and do this to me? Jesus would you stop yelling? You are making everyone here uncomfortable. Why the hell would you go behind my back and do this to me? Get a clue dumb ass you're yelling at the top of your lungs in public. Well I should be, you literally cheated on me. It's not that big of a deal, I still love you, and I still want to be with you, I just wanted to get a break. Well, guess what, we're over. Are you serious? Yes, we're breaking up, I don't want to be with a cheating douche like you. Well I have some bad news, Emma walked into the restaurant and she saw everything. That is what I was trying to tell you in the restaurant idiot. Oh yeah, the service was really bad, well crap. I guess me and Emma are done. Yeah that sucks, but hey you still have Steven, Brian, and me, you still have us. Yeah I guess so, well I am going to go for a walk then go to bed. I took my love, took it down. I climbed a mountain and I turned around. 
And I saw my reflection in the snow-covered hills Till the landslide brought me down Oh, mirror in the sky, what is love? Can't child within my heart rise above? Can I sail through the changing ocean tides? Can I handle the seasons of my life? Well, I've been afraid of changing Cause I've built my life around you Time makes you bolder Even children get older And I'm getting older too